It's your boy Carcino here. I think it's recording and the autofocus is probably going nuts and haywire but let me just um, enlighten you on a couple of things. Uh, you probably have seen countless people probably have videos of it by now but by me not being there I get my audio and things a little late you know no disrespect to those who were there working we appreciate all the help and stuff that you do for when we are not able to be there physically um, this is Mayweather talking about actually watching Pacquiao fights and his thoughts well, I think I watched Pacquiao fights, I did, actually I, did. I watched Pacquiao fights, you know, I was at the, um, I was at the Mirage, I was staying in the village at the Mirage, and was in the hot tub, but, I mean, I wasn't going to spend my own money, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to spend my own money, but, um, did I watch it, actually, did I watch it, was I a person, no, I don't like that much, is this how that gets my two days? Uh, yeah, I watched that fight too. Be my case. No, actually, I paid for that fight. I paid for that fight. I was in uh, Miami, in my house in Miami. I'm all moving around a lot always. <laughs> and, um, uh, Martinez was the guy that they said could beat Mayweather. I mean, I paid for it. So, I mean, there's more to this, but that's basically it. Um, where I stand on that is. Florida be anybody in the bunch, whether it's Cotto, Mayweather, Pacquiao, but I mean we all know that, it's just that some of the fans want to see it. I actually talked to two uh, friends of mine who actually were like the dumbest people when it actually came to the sport of boxing. You might have friends, y'all just friends, but when it comes to certain things, like they're ignorant in. But these, this is just the type of people you need to talk to. See, uh, in politics, when politicians are running for office, they send one of their aides to go hang out at a diner, order some food, eat at the diner, and they'll play something like they'll have a person who's running the diner turn to the political debate or whatever, and see what the people's reaction is to the debate or to the video or to some news, and then they take the feedback and they apply it to their to whatever they're doing and that's basically what I was doing they started talking boxing so I said oh okay well this is good because they don't know I know anything about boxing you know these are some friends I know just from Happitons they own a bar and I'm sitting there and I'm like wow they are so dumb one guy's a cop and the other guy uh, he's just dumb when it comes to the sport of boxing He's more of an MMA guy, you could tell. And I'm listening to it, and this is just fabulous. Because now I'm getting raw, uncut, not trying to be smart about it. Just telling naturally what they thought about the fights. And Mayweather and Pacquiao name came up. And right away, when is he going to stop running and fight Pacquiao? Mayweather, I mean, come on, man. You got off late. Did you realize Manny Pacquiao was knocked out? Nah, that that must that was what about ten years ago. No one cares about that. They had no idea Juan Manuel Marquez knocked out Manny Pacquiao, but they did know that Mayweather slept with Ti's wife. Or uh, a comment and drama was going on about that. It was like so. Did you hear Mayweather slut with T.I.'s wife? I wouldn't do that. He's a gangster rapper. Oh, those rappers ain't real. I mean, this is the kind of... I don't know. This is how, this shows you that the world is really screwed up. The world is sick. It is definitely sick and in trouble. This is a cop. He's talking about T.I. wife sleeping with Mayweather. Crazy. But this is the society we live in now, where everybody's crazy, and you just got to try to find your lane and try to survive. It is really nuts out here. So I tried to enlighten them a little bit, and try to bring them some, some, some reality. Like, you know, like, you missed some good fights. You, know, you need to go check these fights out. 
like, what makes you think that um, Pacquiao could win? Or he's like, oh, we just want to see it, you know, like, it'll be a good fight. So the public should know. They're still going to buy that Pacquiao Mayweather fight no matter when it happens. Same thing I've been telling you. They could fight 80 years from now. People are so stupid. I mean, really. People are very, very stupid. What has made them like that? Having everything brought to them. You don't have to work or wait on a telephone call no more. Wait for somebody to get off the phone at the house. You got a cell phone. Don't have to share a TV and make a time where you can get the television when someone else isn't watching it. Every room got a TV now. Don't have to worry about missing a show to record it. TiVo. Don't have to remember any phone numbers. Cell phones store all the numbers. Don't need a roller deck. No need to remember numbers. Don't have to go to the library. Got the internet. Got Kindle books right on my phone. You see, everything has been made easy. But yet, we still complain. We want more. No matter how much they give you, you're going to want more. It is part of the sickness. You're never going to have enough. It's people complaining internet isn't fast enough. I mean, you're getting all this information for without any having to move. And you want more. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's, it's the drive and the will of man to want more, 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 more. Nothing was good enough. Even God. God wasn't good enough. We wanted a king. God said, you know what? Y'all want a king like everybody else? Y'all got me? I'm not enough? Bam. Okay, now you got a king. Saul is, Saul is y'all king. Now he's going to tax you, he going to work you, and he's going to do everything else, but this is what y'all wanted. But we want more. So through history, this has always been the curse of man, <laughs> to want more. And how do we go from Pacquiao Mayweather to Saul, King Saul, and <laughs> wanting more? Well... That's why you listen to me. <laughs> it all ties in together. <laughs> oh, man. So, I'm out. Y'all have a good night.